There's the posse. All right, my first hole of the day. Digging was a lot easier here than it was the other way, and I'm not sure what this is, but it's cool looking. I already cleaned it up a little bit. Thought it was a horse until I brushed it off. Definitely a woman. Don't know who she is. I love it. It's light, tin. Wish there was some writing on it to identify it, but um, if anybody knows, leave a comment in the comments below. All right. Wish us luck on the next one. Bill over there looks like he's looking at something, maybe even filming. And I just dug just a head stamp, nothing too exciting. Except I don't think I've ever seen one just like this before. So it's a WRA company rival, looks like a 12 gauge. Just filming it because it's a new one for me. All right, let's hope the next thump Next something is a little bit more, period. Okay, day four. And I am completely surrounded. But my first hole, first bullet. Gotta love it. Looks like a Spencer. And all these young ladies and gentlemen, because I got the big old bull over as he. He was standing right here. Anyway, they're guarding all the bullets. Oh, there's the bull right there. Okay, so they're guarding all the bullets, and uh, hopefully they're not guarding all the uh, the plates and buckles, too, because we've yet to find one around here. But it's a start. Real nice. I like it. Moo. I've been making my way toward what we think is an abandoned house. The other side of the fence looks like it hasn't been kept up at all. And the only entrance we see to that house goes down the way we came in over that wooded bridge that um, was blocked off or going through the water itself, which didn't look very safe. So we're not thinking nobody's been here in a while, but anyway, down here, just found Half a horseshoe, so it's not just cows that have been in this pasture. Gets really thin toward the top. Um, found a lot of half horseshoes this year. I don't know if I found a single full one, maybe one. Love digging horseshoes, but I love them when they're whole. They make good decorations for the garage. Half horseshoes, not so much. Oh well, let's see what we find next. All right, so this one is trying to elude me, and I raked a bunch of dirt out, and I think that's it right there. And it is another uh, pistol, bullet? pistol bullet. Pistol bullet number three, bullet number four. Very nice. Love it. Yeah, the house doesn't look in bad shape, but definitely no one's living there now. It hasn't been kept up in a while. And right down here, obviously some hunters, a couple pieces of a uh, arrow shaft. Luckily, no point. And Brian's making his way back down now. Looks like everybody's heading back toward the car. I better do the same. Alrighty, I already dug the hole, but it's still in there. But it sounds like a bullet, so. It's a semi-live dig. It's in the wall. So I missed it a little bit. Ooh, and I think I just chopped it in half. Ground is still frozen, but not nearly as bad it was as bad it was uh, the first couple days. Okay, it's in this clump, and there she is. And it looks like it is a, Bill, you're close by. What's the one with a hole in it again? A gardener? Gardener, yeah. Okay, it looks like a gardener. Good thing Bill's around me to tell me what it is. But there she be. Hope the sun's not in your eyes. Bullet number two. I am way back, almost as far as you can go. I still want to get down there. 
still looking for where they might have camped. That looks like a good spot, but I'm up on this hill and I just found a penny. Unfortunately, it's not as old as some of the other pennies that were found here. This one's a weedy, but still pretty old. 1913, looks like I nicked it at the bottom, but um, still over 100 years old. Let's see what we find next. All right, I uh, just dug a, a hole out here. It's our last day here in Virginia, and uh, we're on that spot we hit last night, and uh, just dug this nice little uh, pistol bullet. Awesome. So hopefully I'll get a lot more. Everybody seems to be getting into them. John's found like four bullets already. Chris, I think, has found six or seven. Uh, so hopefully uh, will be a lot more to come. All right, back at you. Well, I made it all the way to the back corner. I want to get up there and dig around and see if anything was there. But this little back area by the trees was interesting. So I just uh, came down here and dug deep. Earlier I was complaining because I found half a horseshoe and I never find any whole ones. I like the whole ones because I can decorate the garage with them. This is a nice big heavy horseshoe and I mean heavy. Of course now I'm about as far from the car as I can get and I've got to lug it back but I'm not complaining. I love it. All right let's see what we find next. This may even be Civil War period. It's definitely old enough so I'm gonna call it Civil War. Like I've said before prove me wrong. Okay, got another hole here, incredibly deep. It, uh, so deep the VDI numbers weren't even showing up. I could just hear it. So, I think I see something, yes sir. Yes sir. Three ringer. Love it. Way in the back, just dug that horseshoe down at the bottom there. And just stumbled across this. Not a metal detecting find, but still pretty cool. Only see the one. Don't see another one anywhere. But uh, still a neat find. Way, way back here now, about as far as I can go. And just came across another one of those medicine bottles you occasionally find. If this was for an animal, they went an awful long way to give it to them because we're about as far back as you can get. They would have had to go miles instead of giving it to them up near the barn. Did they have these back in the Civil War? I don't know. Maybe this is something that dates back to then. Either way, I'm going to dig a little bit more around here, see if there's anything else. What a cool find. Love finding these things. All right, just a couple feet away from... Uh... That pistol bullet I dug, I just dug a, another plug and uh, got a nice sharps bullet. Awesome. So, John's found a couple, like I said, in this area, and uh, we're just going to keep running around in here. Okay, back at you. Okay, there's number four of the day so far. Another Spencer. Just waiting to find that buckle though. It's got to be a, a buckle or a, a plate somewhere in here. Mike's digging a hole over there. He thinks it might be a bullet. I don't know if you can see him. He's way over there. The other guys are spread around. Cows are way over yonder. Alrighty, enough talk. Time to go on and find my buckle now. Well, bottle number two, and I found that not too far from where I found bottle number one. So, something was definitely around here. We'll keep digging, see what else we can find. Okay, so we're back on the next day where we were out here yesterday and had just some good luck yesterday. My first really good sound and signal. And... It's a flattened three ringer. It's flat on this side. Uh, completely it flat. When it's soft ground. Pretty cool. Well, between us, we probably pulled about 30 bullets out of this area. Chris just finished digging something there. But it seems to have gone quiet. It's been a while since we've gotten anything. So John and Bill are going to go up that way and scout. 
see if they come across anything over in the next field. If not, at least they'll keep the cows company. I was over that way a little while ago, didn't find anything. So I think I'm going to just stay here a little bit longer. We have found a bunch. We'll see if there's anything left to find.